Hey Taurus, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do a quick new moon reading for you and just see what's going on. What are we bringing in here? So, I'm also not taking reversals unless they're like blatant, blatant. So, unless they're like, guess what? We reversed. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Taurus, we are done. We are over it. You've learned whatever you need to learn. It has served its purpose and we're putting it down. What about this? This is Five of Cups in the Tower. We're ripping it down. I like that. It's like, if you did all you could, you can't be sad about it. And it's like, okay, on to the next. Like, you can't hold yourself hostage emotionally, physically. I mean, the two tens. We, we, we've reached the end of something. We done. And star. Okay. I mean, this is pretty like, ta-da. So we're getting out of regret. We're getting out of the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Because I think you did done and had, you know, like you, you put your time in. And now it's like revamp. So this star, Taurus, and it doesn't have to be this gigantic dramatic thing. It could just be seeing that some some kind of cycle has seen itself through. Something has worked itself out. Something has gone a particular way because it had to. Because it was like closing time. You know, you can't go home but you can't stay here. <laughs> or you don't have to go home but you can't stay here. I haven't been in a bar in a while. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So you have to move on from something and if you're getting kind of like bounced out the door it, it, the tower's like, guess what? Guess what, Taurus? Because look what we have over here. The star with this kind of energy back here, I feel like there is an element of healing, but there's also being able to kind of see what you want. It's like the clouds clear a little bit. It's like the dust settles and you're like, oh. Yeah, judgment. You're able to see things clearer. You're able to get a better perspective on stuff. So if it feels real cattywampus right now, know that it's, the dust is gonna settle. Things will chill on the other side, right? Five of Pentacles reversed. I mean, either way, let's take it here because if the Five of Pentacles is leaving stuff in the past, I feel like with this Five of Cups, you regretted it. With the Five of Pentacles, you are able to close the book. Like, chapter's done, we're closed. And I read that pretty much similarly with reversed or upright. Also, there's an element of, do you need to ask for help in some way? Um, seeing areas that maybe, you know, and this is like constructive. If you see areas that you need guidance in, and you don't really have to say help. It could just be like, listen, like, you know, you don't live your life by other people's opinions, but you might need one or two to get like another perspective on stuff and that's fine and just kind of be like okay where how can I level up in this you know and, and maybe you don't have to blatantly ask maybe you watch a couple TED talks or something and you're like oh okay you know there's there's something that I think you need a skosh of guidance on I'm not going to say help but it's more guidance where something you have it's there you just need to make it click in some way that's going to serve you better to move out of this. I think there's going to be like an aha moment. Like, ah, uh, okay. Because I want one on this tower here. Two of Cups. Yeah, if Two of Cups for me is about re reciprocity. If it's not, we're talking soulmate business. But if something isn't, if you're, if you're doing the one dumping all the cup, or you're the one taking all the cup, because it can go either way, then it's not balanced. So there's something beyond that that you need to kind of work through here. Eight of Wands, communication. So I do think that it shows up. You know, keep your eyes peeled for the little things that, you know, like YouTube suggests you listen to this or that, or, you know, you hear something on the TV that you're like, oh, I never thought about that. You know how PBS runs those like, you know, late night lectures or whatever. Um, you know, just keep your eyes out for that kind of stuff. Because I think, you know, universe is like, yo, Taurus, 
I got a little like hint here. So Taurus, I mean, good for you. And you know, you're just making nice shifts and I feel like, you know, you're going to feel a little more fulfilled with a little bit more direction. All right. That's what I have for the new moon and I'll talk to you later.